need a team to do it. But this is the way forward, there is no other alternative. <coughs> this is a very interesting concept. You have all heard of a brand ambassador. Yeah. Right? Let's say Saurabh is the brand ambassador of Captain TMT. Virat Kohli is the brand ambassador of Khan is Khan is from somewhere else. So brand ambassador participates in the advertising communication for that. Right? But brand journalists, they are known people in their own sphere. They have their own area of influence. They are paid to write about it. It could be blog, it could be social media. Imagine that guy who won that French cycling championship. Armstrong. Armstrong. Mm -hmm. Imagine if he writes of a cycling experience in Himachal Pradesh, Manali, Chair, etc., etc. Whoever reads it, will it have a positive impact on the mind of the people? That is practical. So let's say that Narayan Sharma, who is a great ICA, uh, CA for uh, tax, what is the kind of name? There were books at that. Uh, Narayan Jain is there. Narayan Jain, Narayan Jain. Now if he talks of, in his article on uh, uh, income tax, he talks somewhere about how ICA is doing or whatever it is, but they connected. Or let's say he writes a column which is sponsored by ICA, that ICA tips on income tax planning by Narayan Jain, the leading income tax author of or book or whatever consulting. Will it have an impact? So what it is saying is the brand journalists <laughs> is becoming a core part of marketing, putting editorial or journalistic experience to good use by creating original content on behalf of brands, but also with an eye to commercial value for them. Says it on. For example, GST. If you were to promote GST, I would look at a column where the sales tax commissioner or whatever, whoever is the GST. commissioner, he answers queries on GST, it appears in a telegraph and is brought to you by the ICGST content. What will happen? After reading that, will a person go to the GST portal? Very high chance. But it should be seamless from that column to the portal. Because then the experience, the expectation is Enhanced and that has to be matched, otherwise, as we learned earlier, the biggest advantage of journalists over ambassadors is Virat Kohli today takes, you know, how much? Minimum rate is six and a half crores. And that will give four days in a year. Out of which two days we invariably go and shooting time. But imagine for the same money, if the brands which are endorsed by Virat Kohli create them. It is free of individual image. Virat Kohli tomorrow has a sour relationship with Anushka Sharma, your brand may get affected. These are risks associated. No, but then you are talking about benefits or uh, threats? Journalists over brands. So, journalist has advantages or advantages. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. There is no premium for exclusivity. He writes easily, the journalist. And measurable efficiency and easily addressed. Oh, this journal, if you are writing, we are not getting too many hits on the Facebook. Let's change the journal. So essentially, what are we saying? We are saying that we need to create brand journalists. Who could be a brand journalist? If 
people who are renowned in the field of tax, accounts, finance. And here the designation is more important than the name. Yes, the general manager of United Bank of India is more important than whether it is Kundu or Vananji. No, 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 I'm just saying, what do you do? Can we get our successful alumni as brand journalists? We should look at that. Who is working maybe at my position? I had given this example at a Jagran workshop where the idea was given to Sharda University, is it or not? And the idea was very simple. Take a photograph of a person who is a Shadda University alumni and currently you are in a decent place. So that person's column, every tweet could be different, would question and answer in terms of how to make a good corporate career. And it will say Rahul Kulkarni, batch of 2017, MBA, Shadda University. Now, product manager, Samsung. Journalist. This is one big, big area, analytics, where unfortunately there was one meeting with Shadja with Sir, but you need to look into it very, very close. This is all about filtering qualified data. They will be developing correlation amongst parameters. Let me give it by an example. Let's take an example of Kusi Chandra as a jewel. Right? Jewelry marketing has two components. One part is the price of gold, then there is a making charge. And as you know, the price of gold keeps fluctuating, it goes up, down, etc. Now, plus there is advertising in television, in print, in different manner. And also there are times of the year when there are promotional offers. Am I right? And the promotional offers on here is 15% discount, on here is 25% discount. So all these are variables. But one thing is common to all this is sales come up finally. Right? So if an analytics team is given all these numbers, sales and the variables over a period of 36 months, they can correlate between whether it makes sense to advertise more in TV during wedding season or non-wedding season, is it giving more results? A print half page versus full page, a discount 25% versus 15%, everything can be correlated and limited. This is what analytics can do for the brand. Where are your customers coming from? Which pin code? Based on that data, where should you address? So this is all about generating usable, practical insight about the brand and the 